to make this chair as strong and sleek and simple design as it is, the team here really needs to feel a part of it. And since I've been here, I've always felt that the team knows they're a part of the legacy and what they've learned from the people who came before them. And they continue to pass that knowledge down and make sure that the Emico legacy and the 1006 chair stays the same as it did 75 years ago. This facility has been in uh, Hanover, Pennsylvania since 1944. The United States Navy, near the end of World War II, was rebuilding their fleet and they wanted to have a chair that was lightweight, corrosion resistant, fire resistant, and torpedo proof. So it had to be strong and last forever. So they partnered with uh, Emico at the time to develop that type of design. And the 1006 Navy chair is what came out of it. So let's go out to the factory floor and see how it's made. The very beginning of the process, we bring in raw aluminum, which is very malleable and able to be folded and cut and bent. So this is the highest amount of steps in our 77 step process. The recycled aluminum is such a critical piece to Emico itself. You could continue to use that over and over again. A lot of the aluminum that was made in the 1800s is still in use today. Now what this does is this puts the date, the logo, the production number and a few little drain holes. The first time I saw the chair, you look at it and it looks like just a piece of metal that is gonna be cold and hard. But all these little extra pieces, part of that 77 step process makes a difference. The chair was really designed for military purposes, but after you realize what the chair can bring, many other industries realize they could use it without any concerning that if there's gonna be any breakage or damage to it. They like to have something simple, they know it's gonna last, and it still has just a very uh, sleek design. One of the key process steps is heat treat process. We send that into a thousand degree salt bath, quench it in cool water, and then place it overnight in an oven to bake. This will make it three times as strong as steel. Next to last step is the anodize, where we put the aluminum oxide material, gives it a matte finish and a hard texture. Once again, that's a significant amount of time and people say that's crazy, but it is a mere beautiful finish. Lastly, we go through the final quality inspection, boxing it for uh, protection and ready to ship out to the customer. Best part of my job is every day dealing with the team here. They know what they're doing, they're craftsmen, they've done this job for many years, and just seeing the pride they put into it, it's fun to just to be with them. It's amazing, especially in the world today where a lot of manufacturing is being sent overseas, and this has been made here, high quality product, and people see that design and they know it lasts. So there's a lot of pride that is made right here in Little Hanover, Pennsylvania. Thank you.